Hello and welcome to today's tutorial video from AgriData. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to import a vector boundary file into the Surety Pro system. When using the import tools within Surety Pro, they can help you ensure correct boundaries and speed up your mapping process overall. To start, we need to make sure we have a client selected. Then we'll go up to the File, Import, Borders option. The Upload Borders window will pop open and allow us to import specific files. Shorty Pro allows us to import the SHP or the Esri shape file. With this file type, it is important to include the SHX, the DBF, and DRJ if available. Otherwise, Shorty Pro can also accept the KML, GDB, GML, DXF, and the GeoJSON files as well. We also have the option to upload a zip file containing multiple forms of these shape files. The borders layer only allows us to import the polygon shape file type. Um, so it, we won't import a line or point shape file. That is done using the import to custom layer option. To start, we're going to click on choose files and we'll locate our file types uh, within our computer directories. For this one, I'm going to import a Esri shape file. So I will need the four file types that are associated with it. Again, the DBF, PRJ, SHP, and SHX. Uh, select all of them at once. We can do that by holding the shift key down and clicking on the first and last option. Otherwise, if you left click and drag, it will also highlight them all. Once you have them all, click open, and we can see that we are including four files here. Let's upload the file. This next step is where we choose our attributes for our shapefile. This is important when you have existing attributes within your shapefile or your vector file that you want to bring into the Surety Pro system. The attributes that we have available within the borders layer are the field ID, farm name, and acres. So to assign them, all we need to do is use the drop downs to find the file that you would like to use in this case. For the field ID, I'm going to match it up with my field name. For the farm name, I'm going to find the associated similar name. Uh, please note that you may have much different file attributes than what I'm showing here. The acres attribute is unique. If we leave it blank, Surety Pro will automatically calculate the acres based on the shapefile itself. Otherwise, if there is a specific acreage we want to bring across, we can use the drop down and select an appropriate option. For this one, I'm going to leave as is so that Surety Pro can calculate the acres for me. Let's go ahead and click Save. And we can see here we have a, uh, we've uploaded one of one and our total acres is displayed there as well. Click Done. The map automatically located the, the file that we uploaded and brought up a overview of it. I'll go ahead and zoom in to the boundary. After we zoom down, we can see that our attributes have come through. So we have the field ID of Homestead. So if we select this, we can also see that it brought in the farm name of GF County. This can also be used to locate from our farm name and field ID dropdowns. This boundary has been placed, like we said in the beginning, into the borders layer. So if we click the layers button, we can click on borders to deactivate or activate that layer. Again, this file is associated with this client. So if we go to a different client, the boundary will no longer be there. But if we come back, the boundary will again be brought into our current map. This boundary has all the same functionality as you would typically find within a saved border. So we can select it and use any of the maps or forms to generate the appropriate one. Find more out about the import borders function by going to our support site located under the help drop down, clicking on support. Find the Surety Pro features link and scroll down to 
the import shape files to borders link. 